Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Pierre and this is your five minute fix where I teach you a tutorial in under five minutes to reach your video goals quicker. Today, we're gonna to talk about speed ramping. Speed ramping is when you take footage and you ramp up the speed or you ramp down the speed for a creative effect. It can look really stylized and make your footage look amazing if you do it right. And it's easier than you think. So we're gonna try and keep it under five minutes. Let's jump into Premiere. Here's how it works. I put five minutes on the clock and I do my best to run through this tutorial and hopefully by the end of five minutes, you have learned something new. So let's start the clock. First thing you wanna do is grab a video and drag it onto your timeline. This video was shot at 120p. So it's in slow motion and we wanna add a speed ramp to make it a little bit more dynamic and stylish. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna drag above your video and expand the view so you can see it a little bit clearer. Next, you wanna right click on the effects tab here, go down to time remapping and hit speed. So now you can see a line is going along the video clip representing the speed of our video. Let's find where we want our speed ramp to start. So maybe we let that play for a bit. And about here, we wanna have our in point for our speed ramp. So you're gonna hit P on your keyboard to bring up your pen. And we're gonna drop a point on that line. And we're gonna do the same for the out point. Let it roll for a bit. And about here, drop another point here. Go back to your selection tool by hitting V or hitting the selection tool up here. And what we wanna do now is we wanna lift this line here up to 500%. So remember, because it's, this was shot at 120p, 500% um, will bring it back to normal speed. So let's see, 500%, there we go. And do the same for the back end of the video. Scrub up to 500%. There we go. And now if you watch the video back, we're gonna see the speed ramp slows down, here we go, add some drama to the video and then speeds back up. And that looks good, except it's a little bit abrupt when the speed ramp changes and we're gonna smooth that out. To do this, we wanna zoom in a little bit further into our clip and you'll see a little arrow here, just click and drag that out and you'll see the speed ramp start to spread over a longer period of time. And there is little handles here, I don't know if you can see them, but if you click these little handles, you can actually drag out uh, even further and smooth that speed ramp even further. It's really hard to see, it's actually really hard to, if, even for me to see this right now. So you can zoom in a bit further. There we go. So click and drag those handles. As you can see, as I move that, the ramp becomes a little bit more gradual. So spread that out can even extend the time it ramps over. And we're gonna do the same for the back end. Zoom in, drag this handle out. There we go. Grab our little handles, smooth our ramp out. Like that. And as you can see now, if we play the clip back, we have a smoother ramp into our ramp and back out much more gradual, much more smooth. And that's it guys. That's, that's basically how you speed ramp uh, up and down footage. You can obviously do the opposite. So if you wanted to, if we just undo all these points quickly, we've got one minute left on the clock to do this, but I think we can do it. Um, so if I want to do the opposite, I can say, put an in point here, an out point here, About here and what I can do now is I can actually raise this up to let's say a thousand percent any further thousand percent and it's the same theory when you play your speed ramp will speed up at these points then slow back down so depending what you want to do and what the uh, style you're going for with your speed ramp this is how you do it Stop the clock. Okay, that's all I have for you today, guys. If you learned something new today, please leave a like and show your support and comment down below what tutorial you'd like to see next. Consider subscribing if this is the type of content you're interested in. Keep shooting and I'll see you in the next one.